distinguished delegates, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, as you start your discussions on the Global Digital Compact, allow me to share a few thoughts on how the IGF community can contribute to this process. The Internet and the digital tools and services are continuously and rapidly evolving, offering new opportunities and raising new challenges and risks. Current policies and norms are continuously put to the test, requiring us to rethink our traditional approaches. To ensure the Internet as a global digital public goods, we need to be guided by a set of shared values for open, free, safe, and secure digital future for all. And this is precisely what the IGF has been recognizing in its deliberative outputs for years, and what Secretary General Antonio Guterres set as a clear objective by calling for Global Digital Compact in his report on our common agenda. I'm pleased that members of the IGF multi-stakeholder advisor group recognize that the IGF will be a key contributor to the Global Digital Compact by aligning the 2022 program with the themes envisioned within the compact. The IGF has much to offer. For years, it has been a global hub for stakeholders from all regions to exchange views and ideas on the most pressing digital policy issues and on policy options and solutions. In his report on our common agenda, the Secretary General Antonio Guterres especially highlighted the IGF's role in supporting collective, in supporting effective governance of the digital commons. The IGF is uniquely positioned to provide valuable inputs into the consultations for the Global Digital Compact. The IGF messages from the annual meetings as well as outputs of the various streams of the intersessional activities can and should be among the sources used to build the compact. As the IGF continues to serve as a global platform for open and inclusive dialogue on internet governance, I trust it will contribute on its own and through inputs from the Global Digital Compact to shaping an inclusive, fair, and sustainable digital future for all, which is anchored in respect for the UN Charter, international law, human rights, and fundamental freedoms. I thank you.